Okay, cool. But now, what I want to what I want to actually start off with properly now is modules. Because so this is where Python starts. It starts with modules, right? I'm sure you guys have been introduced to the NumPy module or NumPy or whatever the lecturer calls it. But regardless of what you call it, just focus on what it does. So I call it NumPy. Guys, can call it what you want. Uh, okay. So the first thing we're going to do is is we're going to import NumPy as MP. And what what a module is is it's a library with a bunch of stuff inside it. Think about it like when you're playing games, or, okay, no, I'm not gonna use that as an analogy, but generally when you, it, it's, it's basically like a toolbox. So you, you, you know like when, when you're fixing a bicycle or something like that, it's nice to know that you have different tools that can do different things. Now. A module is the same thing. It's like a little toolbox with a bunch of different stuff inside it. And there's different functions, there's different tools you can use. So NumPy has a lot of math stuff inside it. So an example of a tool you would use is you want to know what what uh, print print the sign print sign of 30 degrees. Right? You want to print the sign of 30 degrees. But look, but look at this. If I run it now, let's see gives us an error. So you guys must pay special attention. Don't just see like name error and then be like, nah, I'm out. Don't do that because it's very, it's highly likely in your semester test and throughout your NPR, like being this like doing NPR, you, you're going to encounter errors and you need to understand what the error is. And, and the nice thing about Python is it tells you what the error is. It says name sign is not defined. Okay. It's not defined, right? So why, like, so what does that mean? It means that we haven't, yes, we have imported NumPy, but we need to actually call sign from NumPy. And how we do that is we say np dot, and then that dot, np dot sign 30, we, we call it. So np is NumPy, because we've, so import NumPy is np. NumPy is now the, the uh, module, np is, what we've called NumPy. So NumPy is not called NumPy anymore, it's called NP. So when you say, like look here, if I say import NumPy is NP5 and I run it now, okay, I don't know why that works. Oh yeah, oh yeah so now if I need, to, anyway, it shouldn't work. Okay, let's, okay, it should not work. So this is stupid about this thing. Okay, let me just, let's copy, let me copy this and paste another one that hasn't run. So you see the kernel, like if I restart and run the kernel now, if I restart and clear out the kernel, if I run it now, if I run it, oh wait, no, wait, let me just restart and run the kernel because let's restart and run the kernel. So basically what I'm going to show you is if I call this NP5, but this is NP, and you run it, it's going to give us an error. It says NP is not defined. So we need to call it the same name. You don't have to, you can call it any name you want. So you can rename the module, the toolbox, and what you want. But the best thing, so that it runs, the best thing to call it is NumPy, is NP. Okay, let's run it, and we see we get this. But let's take note of this, right? Trigonometry and math is something that is, is very, it's, it's embedded in, in, in uh, Python, because what you're actually doing with NPR, like what NPR is aiming to teach you is to build a customizable calculator that you're going to use in your final year project. That's it. It's very likely, and other modules. You're going to use it in other assignments, other modules later on. Even if you're civil, like this, this thing is important. Mechanical, yeah, you're going to use it in a couple of modules. So <laughs> get comfortable with NPR. Uh, yeah, cool. So. But basically, like the whole idea of Python is, it saves time. And you, when you get to four loops, you'll see that well, you, you can really build calculators, and it saves a lot of time. You don't have to sit there and calculate, sit there and calculate and calculate 30 different calculations. You can do one in one line of code. You can do like 30 calculations, and it, you leave it and it runs, and then you go and play FIFA or whatever you enjoy doing on your free time. Okay, so yeah, uh, another. Oh yeah, but another thing I want to say is that, so when you say np.sign30, right, this input here, remember this is a trig function, inside here the sign, this 30 
What is sine 30? Sine, just, just make sure it's in degrees, sine 30. You're going to see we get 0 0.5, right? But when I say sine 30, in here it says minus 9.8, because Python always interprets the input to sines as a as a radian. It's always in radian. So if you want to convert convert radians, convert degrees into radians, oh, radians. So if you want to convert degrees into radians, you need this function. Uh, you're going to say, so we have degrees is equal to 30 as an example, right? Degrees equals to 30, and then we're going to say, uh, yeah, we have degrees equals to 30, and then we're going to say the radians, radians or rad, call it whatever you want, is equal to np dot. So there's a function, uh, like a tool that you can use in your toolbox called radians, or your a function in, your, in the module called radians, and then you put d in there. Put the, the degrees in there. And then it's going to convert. So if we say print, print rad, we can actually see what that value is. And I'm just going to, yes? Nothing, nothing, no, 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 no difference. Nothing, no difference. So if you run it, we see we get 0.523 rad, right? Can you see this? Like this, I've printed this value here. Printed this. Okay, yeah. So I've, I've printed, printed this value here. Uh, yeah. So then we'll see that this value is here. Can 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 you guys see this? Do you understand like how this works up until this point? Because print, print is what allows us to see a value. We only if you want to see a value, like we're not getting the value of d, we're just getting the value of print rad. It allows us to see the value. So we see the value. We're like, okay, cool. It's 0 0.5. But now if we want to say we want to say y is equals to Sign like say in a question you ask generate a question asks you uh, wait something like this a question would ask you something like this they'll say generate or find sign thirty degrees right so we have that so remember if you, a hashtag is a comment that allows you to comment. Python won't read this text. All right, Python's not going to see this text. You don't need to worry about comments in your semester test. The reason why comments are important is when you, okay, well, like when, you, when you're working in a group project and you multiple people are using your, you do a code, he does a code, he does a code, and then you want to put the code together. It's important that when I go through your code, I can see what you put a comment that you say. This is what it is doing. Or in the lecturer's case, or in my case, it's nice because I can show you if you want to generate this. So hashtag, just put a next to it. Just next to it. If you put a hashtag, it's going to comment the whole line. The whole line in that is going to comment out. Hashtag. Okay, but don't worry about hashtags. It's not going to, you're not going to, if there's a hashtag in the message, you're not going to get a mark for hashtags. So don't worry about that. Okay. But just get, understand the idea that hashtag comments out. And you'll see it more in the lecture notes. Okay. So, Look here, if I put here, it's not going to hashtag it out, but if I put a hashtag next to it, it's going to, that whole line is going to be hashtagged out. Okay. Now, okay, so we want to find sine 30 degrees. So you realize it's a math thing, so we're going to import numpy's and p. Then we have our degrees, which is d is 30, and we realize we're going to have to convert the radians into. But yeah, you guys must understand the flow of this code. Like it goes from there. And then radians, we're going to put the degrees in there, and then we've got degrees here. And we have y is equals to sine, and then we're going to put rad in here. We're going to put the radians, the actual value of the rad, because that's what Python wants. But if we look here, I left out the np dots, and I say np dot, and we run it. Uh, and you see, it doesn't return anything because we need to print the value of y. So let's print y. I run it now, and I'll see we get zero. That's basically 0 0.5. And we can use a calculator. You can check. Oh, I'm right. Okay. Okay, cool. But yeah, this this is like this is like the real real basics in terms of the idea. But then there's another module.
called math, the math module. And then extra, he doesn't really tell you about this, but I don't know why, because this, like, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me show you something. Like, actually, I'll, I'll show you after I explain this. Uh, the math module, it's like, so, so NumPy is like an all-inclusive module. It has everything in it. It has, it's like the biggest module in Python. But if you want something more specific, more specialized to doing math operations, then use math. So import math, math as M. Yeah, math M1, but keep it, remember, you always want to keep it short. So M is probably the best thing to go for. Yeah, are, are, are we cool? Okay, so we're importing math as M. Now we're going to do the exact same thing, except over here we're doing it with NumPy. Over here we're doing a NumPy module. And in this one, we're going to do the exact same thing, right? Except we're going to use the math module. Okay. So I say import math as M, right? And then, uh, so import math as M, and then we're gonna we're gonna just copy this code. We don't wanna be let's we engineers, we're lazy. Let's let, let's we don't wanna work harder than we have to. Let's copy this code in here. Right, and then the same thing, this thing still applies. Right? The only difference now is instead of saying np.radians, you're gonna say m.radians. Okay. Because radians still forms part of the math module. Okay. Okay, cool. So we have, okay, we have M dot radians, and then we have that. So let's just change all of this to M, and then let's run it. Okay, let me see. Okay, we get the, we get the same answer. So just make there radians. Okay, there's... Where, where the math module comes useful, like if it wasn't useful, I wouldn't really be telling you about this. Is say now you want to know what what is what is lin of ten, and you forget it during the semester. You see it there. There's a question with lin in it, and you're like, what lin? I forgot what that is. Okay, so say you want to know what lin ten is, right? Or anything in general, any math thing. If we say there's there's a function called help, right, and that allows you during the test, even if you look at a semester test, you'll see in the multiple choice they'll be like. What does this function do? You don't know what it does. So say you want to know what, uh, you want to know, okay, the first you want to find lin 10, but you, you want to know how do you learn in Python. So what you do is you'll say import, remember that once you've imported math, you don't have to ever import it again. You don't have to imp keep importing it, but say this was a fresh style, but like, let me, wait, like, let me, let me show you what I mean by that. So we're not going to import math, and then we'll say, uh, okay, we're going to say help, I'm just going to say M, because remember, we imported math as M, so we're just going to say help M, just the help. And then we're going to see we get this. We're just going to see that we, we get this. You see, now it gives you all the functions over here, and what they do. It tells you what the, what the function returns. So this is like looking inside the toolbox. So we go and, we, and it's in alphabetic order, so we look for lin. And we'll be like, Where, where's lin at? And then we'll be like, ah, oh, there's log... So we turn the logarithm of x to the given base. Well, in this case, log, it will assume that the base is e, because you see what math dot e, which is a exponential function, All right? So, okay, so we will just, yeah. So yeah, so you can use this, you can use that to advantage. And you'll see like, but usually they'll ask you in the test, they'll be like, what does, uh, what does, factorial do or something and then you'll say like m dot factorial so the factorial is only found in and you're only going to put the name you're not going to put like inputs or anything you're just going to say m, m dot factorial and you'll see that it returns uh, help on built-in function so it tells you what it does it finds the this value just as an example but just note that help function and if you want to see what a thing does what a help what a function does you import the module 
that the function is in, right? Like I did here, I, we really imported math as m, and then we said m dot factorial. Okay. Remember now I'm giving you guys all the little things, small things that can make a that can make it like can get you a few marks in the test, right? Cool. Oh, okay, but if, if, if you guys want to just know what lin is for interest sake, you would say print m dot log, or you can even say mp dot log, and it's just log. That's it. And then if you want to find say lin ten, there it is, and there's, there's, there's lin ten. If you run it, we'll see we get two point. And let's let's check our calculator. Like lin 10, and we'll see. Yeah, it's the same value. Okay, but it's yeah, that's that's lin. And then if you yeah, and then if you want to do log 10, let me just show you that quickly. M dot log, uh, and then you'll say log just 10 like this. You see, I said log 10 like as one word, and then you'll put whatever you want, like say five or something. And if you guys are unsure, like if, 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 you, if it's not during the semester test, during the semester test, you won't aim to give you things that you have to remember and stuff. Like it's really more answering questions and stuff. But if he basically like use, use, use the help function if, as your last resort if you don't know. But if it's outside of the test and you're on your own, use Stack Overflow. Use Google, type it in Google, look what it is. Like during a tutorial assignment recently, I forgot what Lin was, and I went on Google, <laughs> and I, I went on Stack Overflow, and I saw that it was this. So, just you don't remember these things. Like Python, there's things. Remember, there's an intuition. Like like when you're driving, you know there's K53, and then there's driving, right? It's the same thing with Python. There's there's NPR, <coughs> and then there's there's programming. <laughs> So NPR is like your K53, and then there's like real stuff that you don't really have to do. Like there's the stuff you remember and stuff is not. You can always go and look on the internet. Okay. So yeah, let's let's oh, yeah. And another thing is, so this was with the math module. So this is with the math module again. This was the math module. You you guys just quickly do it in for me in, in the NumPy module. Do the same thing in the NumPy. I'll give you like. 30 seconds, the NumPy module. Remember, we already imported the NumPy module at the top. I'll give you guys like 30 seconds just to do the same thing with, with NumPy. Remember, and, and look at the result. Okay, so, yeah. so remember, just copy and paste this. Remember, we're lazy. Copy and paste this, and then just change this to np dots. That's it. Just change this to np dot. And then you'll see that dot. Answer is the same. You see, but say now you want to be fancy and you want to like separate the the prints. Just check here. Wait for you guys. If you want to separate the prints, just put a, put a print like this, blank print, and when you run it, it will put a space. In your output. It's nice because now you know if you got too much going on, it's confusing at times. Okay, cool. Can I continue? Yeah, so let me, let me, let me continue quickly. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much like modules and stuff around that.